Hello friends, welcome to Behind the Designs, where I create a beautiful life through creative planning. I'm Stephanie, and today I'm going to be having some mini fun, so stay tuned. Alright, so I am back. It is the weekend, and I am looking to, as promised, the first of quite a few videos this month for my mini planner slash happy planner. So it's kind of a combination of planners. But um, I have a quite a few ideas, and today I'm going to start with it. It's a fun, creative day, as I usually like to do on a Saturday. So um, yeah, let's get into this and get started. <laughs> All right, so. This is kind of coming from um, a comment that had been made, and I apologize. I probably should have looked this up before I hopped on here, but someone asked whether or not the, and I'll try and put her, her handle in, you know, the top of the screen here, but she asked if using the Mambi sticks could be done in a mini. And by Mambi sticks, I mean these. So if you remember, I had done a video where I had used these large Mambi stick stickers in my classic Happy Planner. It was for a Halloween uh, spread. And so she asked the question, you know, can they be used in a mini? Which absolutely they can. Obviously some can't. So for example, this one here you'd have to almost cut out almost the whole border. It could work if that's what your goal was. But um, I'm hopping on today because I want to do one for my mini using these and kind of, you know, needing a spot to write some things down. So we'll get into more of that. Um, and the reason I wanted to show this was because not everyone has the inserts that I have. So I wanted to show you can use your stickers, again, another tip for using your stickers, to create this without needing that insert that I have. So as you all recall, this is my super fun mini planner. Um, it is 90%, well, probably 95% um, Jane's Agenda and Happy Planner is the other 5%. So I'm using Happy Planner Month for my mini. So this is a mini. I've got her jacked up on two inch discs. <laughs> you can see right there. And, um, you know, as you know, I have all the inserts from mostly from Jane's Agenda. I do have, uh, let me see here. Let me pop over to this one. So this is the, make sure I'm not going to show anything. <laughs> but this is the Happy Planner uh, calendar or agenda that I have for my mini. I decided to pop the months in here. I am using the weeks from Jane's Agenda. And let me get to where I need to go um, without uh, showing too much. I need to, I want to show you a specific area so that you can see what I mean. Okay. So I have, and again, this was, you have to be a subscriber to receive some of the things that I show. So yeah, absolutely subscribe. Um, and I do have a discount code below for you to, to use for um, any purchases. I don't no, for certain, I would actually have to check if it applies to the sub box, but it would apply for your other purchases. So I had received in the November box, I think it was November, October, November. It's a holiday meal pl planning pack, and it is for really Thanksgiving. I mean, you could use it for Christmas. And then, let me make sure again. Okay. Then I also received a Christmas holiday planner for obviously December and Christmas. Um, it has a ton of things in here. Let me see. 
I have been diligent about filling it out and um, I can pop this over for you so you know it came pre-printed it has all the things you could need it has some great um, pages that are useful that's the important thing this truly makes my mini functional so as you know I minimally decorate my mini but I mostly decorate my classic so these inserts come in handy but there's a bucket list here and all I did was add some red and green highlight down the you know side so I can check it off when I do it I you know colored in these trees again in the last sub box we received some chic adult coloring pencils and look how gorgeous these are so um, they came with a pencil sharpener attached to the lid perfect for traveling um, and so I kind of started filling this in <laughs> I already filled in Christmas but that's not what this video is about <laughs> so I'm just kind of showing you what I have so anyhow the reason I'm showing you this is because in the meal pack there is a place for there's numerous places to write um, your party plans you know how they get together so forth so it kind of as I thought about it you know sometimes I don't know quite yet what I want to write in here or if I didn't have that that's why we're, we're gonna do what we're gonna do today so this is the weekend we're all relaxing let's have a little bit of fun in our planners and in our craft rooms today and um, let's make this page for it okay enough gushing on my mini let's get out the details all right um, I need a place to put this <laughs> as you can imagine it is numerous project time so you know stuff everywhere all right, so here's what I'm doing. I pulled out a mini Happy Planner grid paper. This is a Happy Planner piece of paper. You could use any paper you wanted. You can use scrapbook paper, double-sided paper, um, anything you really wanted to use, you could use. I'm using Happy Planner grid paper. And what I wanna do is I want to create let me show you okay so here was the Mamby sticks I used it was a little girl with the mask on had cat ears she was kind of dressed in a costume these are stickers from the squad goals squad life theme or collection they're just in larger form so this has on the back you can see all these fun you have summer and I think I used this one for my goals uh, for 2024. So I had this for goals. I used, you know, the girl with the cat eyes here. Oh, here she is. You can see her right here for the Halloween spread. And um, there's, you know, summer beach and self-care. I do love this breathe. I'm going to use that. I got a plan for that. Um, you know, some more florals and then fall and then winter. So numerous opportunities to use this so what I'm going to do just to give myself space is I'm going to put this off to the side um, I kid you not when I say I have mm, five to six videos on my mini scheduled for November so you, for sure you definitely want to subscribe and hit that um, you know the notifications turn on your bell notifications um, because you won't want to miss that okay I do also have my pilot g2 pen it's um I want to say this came in a newer packet I have a boatload of these pens I love pilot g2s but you do have to be careful to not smear them they will smear um, so just be aware of that if you pick them up uh, but they are super great there's tons of colors to choose from um, so I've chosen this green and again I think it came out of one of the newer uh, color packs every time they come out with a color pack you know or a limited edition I pick it up 
So I've pulled this out. It is a gel pen. I've got my mini paper. Now I'm planning on, um, I had my original thought for what I was going to do. I decided to change it slightly. So I'm going to give you all the options you can use if you have these and you do this paper, like how you can utilize these stickers and what you could use the paper for. So um, while I love these girls here with the leaves, um, I do love this. I feel like I want to use it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I do love the leaves and the fall vibe. But I'm going to move over to this girl because two reasons. One, she's fall, and this that's what I'm making this for. And two, she is sized in a way that I don't think I'm going to have to cut her down. I may or may not have to trim off some of the white sticker paper around it. It is white sticker paper, so just be aware of that. Um, let me grab one more thing. Okay, so I just grabbed something to, and I tucked it off to the side in case I needed it. All right. So my first thought was, um, when I was going to create this, because I saw this girl here, um, and she's holding a coffee. Oh, there's actually a little bit of a glare. There we go. So she's holding a coffee. And so my first thought with using her some time back um, was that I was going to create a holiday Starbucks drink list or like my favorite drinks. That was my original plan. And, and that's totally, you, you know, you could do that on here. But um, then I thought, you know, sometimes you know, again, for me, I tend to find a drink that I like, and then I just keep getting it. So I was like, well, you know, I might waste a lot of the paper. Now that we're into November, and you know, we're getting down to all the big holiday things happening. Um, I just felt like I wanted to do something different with it. So that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, I am going to sort of pre-measure her, see exactly where I would be putting her down. Okay, so again, this is just my version. It's all about having fun today. We're going to do a little bit of a semi-crafty day in our planners. <laughs> so let me get her in here. The key would be to not have her block any of the disc edge. I don't want to have to repunch it, um, but I do also want to get her on straight. So I think I think I'm pretty good here. It will cut off some of her shoe, but that's okay. All right, step number one. I am going to just trim off the bottom so that I don't stick to my desktop. Sometimes I get started on these and then I can't stop. Like I keep putting more and more on it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Just want to get them off my hands. All right. So here's my girl. And I had pondered. I didn't know if this cute little dog would fit. It's hard to tell with the paper because, again, it isn't clear. It is a white sticker paper. I think I could make her fit, the little dog. I think that's adorable. I do like these pumpkins as well. I wanted to use these, but I don't know. What do you think? I do like the dog, but I also like these pumpkins. Now, with the pumpkins, I would have it would be too wide. So, you know, that kind of settled that. Let's just move that out of the way and let me get this little dog because how cute is the little dog? I think it's adorable. Okay, let's see. And then we have these florals. You know, I'm kind of thinking of all the things I could put in here. And I'm going to also bring this down as far as I can and over as far as I think I can 
and I will trim off like that fit almost perfectly. That never happens. Okay, so let's get this edge off. And let's cut off the edge of these. Okay. Oh, stickers everywhere. Okay. You know, I've seen, um, and everyone's different. I'm like that clean crafter. I have to have, you know, like I can't leave that sticker stuff on my scissors. Like it bugs me. I don't know why. You know, everyone's got their thing. Now, here's the thing. I was thinking about possibly um, adding in some letters, but I don't know for sure just yet. All right, let me look at these flowers because these are all one piece. How about these leaves too? Let me see this one. Um, I could, if I wanted to, I could trim this little one off. Let's, I think I'm going to use this little one, but I think first what I want to do is get some writing in here because I am going to take up a bit of space. Um, you know, I think I may elevate this just a little more. I'm going to go off and grab something. Be right back. All right. I'm back. And you can see I grabbed my colorful boxes and then also the Squad Goals sticker books, which, as you know, again, I have a couple. <laughs> We'll just say, I want to see if I can find a box that will work with this. I did skim through here. There are actually some um, fall, like I could use some of these flowers. This matches her shirt. So what's nice is this does go with these. The colors are perfect. But what I was looking for... I didn't see in here. Of course, there's the pumpkins and leaves. I may pull in some of those, but I needed a box and I did not find any that were in the fall theme. So let me go over to here and let's see what we have in here. So we've got pastel. There is a brown. There's black. And it would be great if I could find a nice rich green color. That would be nice. I don't know that I will, though, because these are, these are brighter. That's blue. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with the brown. Okay, let's do brown. It'll go well, because the dog is brown. But let's see what I can find in this box. Okay, this actually is perfect. So let's grab the list. This one's too long for my space. I mean, it would just fit in there. I don't know that I need it that long either. But I do like this list, so let's grab that. All right, and we'll get this out of the way. Okay, so let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I could use another one. Okay, let me go back in here and get another box. Let's do this right, right? <laughs> All right. Let's see, where's my brown boxes? Okay. Why don't I grab one of these? Let's grab a different color. A different shade of brown will be fine. All right. Move that back. And I'm going to do this because I wanted to make sure I measured correctly. 
Let's offset them. Is this right? It looks straight, but it sort of doesn't. Eh, straight enough. At a busy time of the year, so, you know, you know me, I, sometimes I get in this good enough is good enough. Um, so what I want to do is grab this single flower before I forget. Oh, I got to pull it all up. Let's see here. All right. There. Just so I can kind of cut around this. I can doctor up the edges once I get it off. All right, so then this I can get out of the way. And then I can kind of just fussy cut around it. All right. This is where I'm going to pull over my tweezers. Oops, and I just stuck that to the back. This is just bent. Okay, so I want to put this on this side. So let's do it this way. I feel like I want to fussy cut around it more, but with this, it can be hard. So let's just put this one here. Only because it's a, it's more of a, a almost like a cardstock type paper that it's on. Uh, so it makes when you go around those corners, it um, it'll bend up the sticker. All right, and then I'm gonna come back to my squad goals, and I'm gonna grab some fun little decorations. So we have. We've got pumpkins, which I would still love to throw in here. Let's see if this one will fit. Perfect. It kind of pulls in the orange from the dog's leash. I think that's kind of cute. All right. And... I've got room to write, so let me write a few things before I go scattering leaves all around. So here's what I'm using mine for. I wanted a quick glance um, look at what we would be wanting to do for Thanksgiving dinner. So it's usually pretty standard, but sometimes I mix things up and before writing them into my Jane's Agenda inserts, I thought I could write them down here first. Plus, um, I figured, again, if you didn't have the Jane's Agenda inserts, you could create your own with your squad goals and or Mambi stick stickers. So, what I'm going to do is... Um, let's see... I'm going to write, I'm going to letter in, <laughs> um, I'm going to write in Thanksgiving. I'm debating if I want to write dinner or... Let me think about that for a minute. What I'm going to do here is Okay, 2024. So let's give the dinner a try. Okay. Satisfied. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write down what I know so far. Of course, we're going to have the traditional turkey. Let's 
stuffing. Um, cranberry sauce for sure. Let's see, we're going to have corn. Uh, potatoes. Of course, gravy, you know, the standards. And then I'm going to, you know, kind of go over what I plan to do with the rest of this page. So uh, let me keep going. Salad. Um, I gotta be careful not to smear my ink. All right, and then we're gonna do so again mostly traditional but sometimes at the last minute I throw everyone for a loop and I change it um, but right now this is what it's going to be okay so I've got the writing in let's get some leaves in and we'll be near done okay so since there's really no gold in it, so I won't use the gold. There is green. I definitely want to pull in some of the green. Um, there's like peach. Peach, this green might be there. Um, again, trying to be careful not to smear that ink. It's probably still wet, so I'm trying to be aware of that. So I just want to scatter a few more. Let's see, probably this color, this little leaf here. And then of course, there's always those fun acorns. Okay. Um, there's a few miscellaneous leaves. I do want something for right here. Uh, let's see, anything else maybe? Um, let's try for, so I have the green and the red. Is there any, like, a peachy color? Let's see. Mm, no, but there is this darker green leaf. I'll, I'll, I can take that. That's good. All right. If I can get it up. And let's see. Okay. It's good. Doesn't need to be overly decorated. Um, I've accomplished multiple things just using my stickers. Um, okay, so here is my thought process. So I have here now. Thanksgiving dinner. I have still room to write. Now, the best part is, now that I've got this done, I can turn it over and I can start making out my grocery list. So this allows me to pop it into my mini. I can take it to the store with me, check off everything I've used or picked up. Now, the other thing you can incorporate is the um, oops, Zig Clean Dotters. And let's see, let's, let's hope this is dry. I'll try not, and move. well, 
I won't stamp it because I know if I set it down, it's probably not dry. You can use the zig dotter. Um, I'm going to go back in after I give this some time to dry and do grocery list. And then I'm going to go through and do a dot all the way down or as many as I need and start writing out my grocery list. And then I will be all ready to go to the store, pick up what I need. Um, and again, I do have inserts for this purpose that um, I will, you know, incorporate. But um, how fun is this, right? And now I'm all ready to go for Thanksgiving dinner. And I use the Mambi sticks, I use the Squad Life, use the stickers, and I am ready to go. So let me bring this back out here so that I can just keep it in the forefront. And now we know everything we need to make a Thanksgiving dinner menu and what will become a shopping list. Doesn't have to ever be fancy um, and it's super easy. So this was again another quick video. I'm happy about that. I'm sure you're happy about that. <laughs> And um, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, if you're wanting to see more mini stuff, be sure to hit subscribe and click on your notifications. Any supplies I can have linked, I'll have linked in the description box below. And I hope you have a wonderful day as you create a beautiful life one plan at a time. Thank you for watching.